breaking news this morning uh, where there's been a double shooting uh, in uh, Young and Bloor neighborhoods happening just after 6 o'clock this morning. CP24 Scott Hurst joins us live now from the scene. He's been covering uh, this story since pretty much it broke. Uh, Scott, have you been speaking to any police officers yet? Any more of an update on the situation? Nick and Jen, nothing more from police at this time, but what they tell us is that two people have been rushed to hospital with serious injuries after this early morning shooting that happened around 6 o'clock this morning. We'll show you the scene and tell you what witnesses have been telling us. We've been counting the evidence markers here outside on the ground. We've counted upwards of 10 at this time. What witnesses have been telling us is that around 6 o'clock, they were woken up. Witnesses in this area who live in some of these high-rise buildings were woken up to the sound of gunshots. One woman who was outside just up the street says she walked by here and saw a group of people outside and then moments later heard upwards of 10 to 12 gunshots this morning. She was terrified and didn't go back but said she heard about 10 to 12 gunshots just around 6 o'clock this morning. Police and paramedics tell us they rushed to the scene after reports of gunshots and transported two people to the hospital in serious condition. Here is what one young man told us saying he was woken up by the gunshots at around six o'clock this morning looked out his balcony and saw commotion at this time as we said two people rushed to hospital with serious injuries here's what that one witness had to tell us i was on my way to work and basically i saw two uh police cars racing up here two ambulances next thing five minutes later they're rushing whoever uh had Cuts, bruises to St. Mike's. That was it. And there was another young man who said he was woken up by the gunshot wounds. And another witness who told us she's the one who heard several gunshot uh, gunshots up to 10 to 12 at this point. In terms of the closures and exactly where we are, we are just up from Young and Charles. This is Charles between Young and St. Nicholas. It is about a block south of Bloor Street. So this stretch of the roadway is closed off right now for the investigation as police try to figure out exactly what led up to the shooting on this stretch of Charles Street between St. Nicholas and Young. Young is not affected. It is still open. The road closure is only at Charles to St. Nicholas, just south of Bloor. Two people transported to hospital in serious condition as police investigate this early morning shooting. Nick and Jan, we'll send it back to you. Okay, that is CB24 Scott Hurst live with the breaking news for us this morning. We'll check back with you soon. Thank you, Scott.